Hi, my name is Min Song. I'm from uh, Yonsei University in Korea. Um, this is my first experience attending uh, BLA. So I'm very excited about uh, being part of this community. I'm going to give a presentation on um, annotation tool that uh, my team developed, which is called Y-Bio-M2-C-M-C. Um, basically, um, this is a biomedical text mining toolkit that, uh, that helps annotate um, the, uh, publications uh, a lot of entities from publications. Um, the system is based upon uh, PKD4J, which stands for Public Knowledge Discovery Engine for Java. It's publicly available, uh, which we develop. Uh, this is version 1.2 now. Uh, what it uh, provides is um, entity extraction module and relation extraction module. The entity extraction module is based upon um, dictionary-based entity extraction. But that was 1.0. 1.1, 1 .1, we add uh, UMLS-based um, entity extraction. And 1.2, we also uh, append machine learning based uh, entity extraction. So now we have uh, three different kinds of uh, combinations to do uh, entity extraction. And also uh, it provides relation extraction. Relation extraction is based on Stanford core NLP uh, dependency parsing tree um, techniques. Um, the this, this system, uh, we downloaded 2014 version of PubMed uh, record. Uh, we have kept uh, updating the data sets. Now we are in process of uh, adding uh, 2016 PubMed record now. And uh, the, the live demo, live you know, working system is available at this website. Um, the goal of um, my uh, my goal with this tool here is to achieve uh, interoperability. I'd like to um, uh, make the system flexible so that it uh, works with a lot of different types of formats. Right now, I'm uh, integrating this with uh, pub annotations. So we are in the final stage of uh, that integration. The second thing is uh, system performance. Um, we are mainly focused on entity extraction. Uh, we have a rough uh, version of relation extraction, but so we would like to uh, improve the relation extraction side. And also uh, we want to add new functions like uh, event extractions and other uh, more challenging tasks to uh, this system. Uh, this is uh, a brief workflow of our system. Um, like a Stanford Core NLP does, we basically are based upon um, PKD4J, and PKD, PKD4J is the extension of Stanford Core NLP. What we did was we add um, the entity extraction and uh, relation extraction to uh, a step for QNLP. So pre-processing is basically uh, uh, very similar with a uh, step for QNLP uh, module. And then we, uh, on top of it, we put the uh, entity extraction layer and then based on regex uh, entity extraction recognition, uh, we did the uh, post-processing and and that's basically what uh, PKD4J does, and then we put the, uh, this the, uh, annotation uh, module uh, around the uh, PKD4J. So um, those um, the details will be uh, skipped, and I'm welcome to um, the answer any questions uh, on site and offline. And we basically um, extract extracted 11 different entity types um, and this is based on 11 uh, different entity types and because of uh, 
PKD for the 1.0, we used a uh, database, dictionary based, the publicly available database, and those da databases uh, corresponding to each entity type. And 1.1, we also integrated uh, UMLS in, uh, on top of dictionary. So we used uh, both of them to uh, extract entities. Um, the, the, one of the features of the system is we um, the provided um, advanced searching function to uh, this annotation system. It's based on the Lucin, uh, Apache Lucin searching function. So uh, user can um, do any natural language search to the system and uh, retrieve uh, provisioning abstracts and titles and then from there then user can select the target uh, pump mat so that the, that pump mat will be annotated on the fly. And this is um, uh, the, 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 the interface of search page. And then this is the result page of the search. And the very uh, right column is, if you click on the icon, then it will take you to a PubMed record. And this uh, PubMed ID, once you click on the PubMed ID, then it will take you to a annotation site. I mean, the, within the system. And this is the highlighted one is the one that I use for a search. And this is a result page. Um, right now we use bread. So as I uh, explained before, we're going to integrate this to uh, pop uh, annotations. Uh, we're in the final stage. And this is a bread uh, annotation format. Another result page is we display uh, what is the um, entity type, entity name, and their span and also uh, the percentage of entities in the particular uh, PubMed record. Um, just brief summary of, uh, I only have a 10 minutes, so uh, the brief summary is um, those three goals I'd like to achieve and continue to work on this. And, uh, again, um, I'm uh, new to this uh, community, so I will welcome any comments or any advice that will take and uh, consider in the next version of my system. Um, I'm with my students here, so uh, we can do a parallel multi-tasking. So uh, if you have questions, then you can ask us. Thank you.